Hello, happy Thursday. It was back to school week here this week and we had some rando practices, so I'm not getting around to this till today, but I did start planning my meals yesterday and one of the things that I decided, kind of after I had planned last week's meals, was that I wanted to go ahead and bump up a plan. So I have been following, like starting with the meal plan template for four week gut protocol, I was in plan A, and now that I've started to lift more, I've decided I'm gonna move up to plan B. So let me go ahead and share my screen, and I will show you. So what I ended up doing is I went into um, the What's Working Here into the resource library, and if you scroll on down under um, meal plan templates, you can find all sorts of different meal plan templates. So I went ahead and I downloaded the um, meal plan B template and then popped it open and then started um, kind of building my meal plan from there. So if this is your first time meal planning with me, break down how I like to do it. I like to break down the meal planning into different days. Usually I sit down on Wednesday and I plan off the meals. On Thursday is when I write the grocery list and then on Friday is when I go grocery shopping and then um, if it's a weekend like last weekend I do my meal prep on Sunday and I actually last Sunday I made all sorts of uh, my four-week gut protocol like lunch recipes and things like that that don't really have recipes but I'm making recipes for you and posting them up on the website and the first one went out yesterday so you can find that quinoa garden salad recipe up on the website now. So I also like to start and write down anything I have going on. So this weekend is Super Weekend for Beachbody. So you can uh, look up like Beachbody Super Weekend and see where an event is near you. I'm going to the one in Dallas. Um, so meeting up with a friend there and we're going to do that. So Sunday you can see there's a lot of out. <laughs> um, but And I might go ahead and pack some healthy snacks and things um, like that, but I know I'm not gonna get home till late, so I'm not gonna try and uh, cook a meal that day. We'll just grab something out. And then Monday, um, if you read last week's menu post, one of my things I suggested to help you get dinner on the table is to carpool. <laughs> so I have carpool night on Monday, so I know that I need to either make dinner a little bit earlier, and I usually sit in the car and have dinner, or, um, plan something that's going to be um, simple and fast to cook. Or another trick since I work from home is I'll also um, make dinner during lunch and so then it's ready to go and we can just heat it and eat it. So um, write down the days, the days of the week, anything you have going on there. And then I start and I just started kind of filling out the meal plan template. This one I will say, so I started, I'm starting with the four week gut protocol and I haven't labeled this as a four week gut protocol because I am making tweaks here and there. So um, it starts with that template and from there I kind of tweak it and make it different. Um, I did leave the Shakeology spinach and banana, that's usually my meal one for everything. And then from there I pick two meal twos for the week. And this is where, um, so usually I should have a B here. It should be two A's and a B, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do all three A's, and I think that's going to be perfectly fine um, for the yellows. And so I picked the eggs. I'll just like scramble some eggs. I have uh, tomatoes and then some hash browns with that. And then the second meal I chose was uh, the, I used the Applegate chicken maple breakfast sausage, um, do some asparagus in the air fryer, and then oatmeal, which oatmeal is a yellow bee, so that one, this, this meal plan is correct here. And then I just alternate those for the week. And then the second thing I do is I pick out three lunches. I do like sticking with those uh, vegan lunches. So most of those uh, are correct as far as uh, it goes for the meal plan. Um, I did try to make any changes where I needed to. Um, veggie lo mein, I had this, for, <laughs> had this for lunch the other day. Um, the recipe will be up on the blog soon, um, but I haven't posted it yet, so maybe in the next couple days I can get that up. So I picked the veggie lo mein and then um, one of my all-time favorites, the quinoa garden salad, which that does have a recipe. So now when you click the link for that, you can go straight for the recipe and get the recipe there. And then, so I pick two of those, alternate those, and then I do the same thing for meal four. So I pick two of those for the week and then alternate them. So I picked out the watermelon spinach salad. Um, this is 
the recipe, if you go to the link for the recipe, it has feta cheese. And so I just took out the feta cheese and I have the watermelon spinach and blueberries with some walnuts instead. And then the second thing I picked is cucumbers. I like the little mini cucumbers. And then I'll have that with um, some berries and coconut yogurt. And I like to add a little teaspoon of honey there into my coconut yogurt. So now all I have left to do is plan out dinner for the week. And um, like I said, I'll grab something out. Um, one thing I think I did last time when I was coming home from Dallas, instead of going through like a drive through I actually stopped at a grocery store. So I went to the grocery store. You know, the grocery store has like prepackaged salads and sometimes they have like a little deli. So I think I got like some little uh, sandwich wrap from there or something like that. So you can find healthy things out if if you want, if you really want to. Um, the next meal I picked was last week I made um, some pesto with all my nice fresh basil. So I still have some of that left. So this week I'm taking, um, so if you click the link to this recipe, it's going to take you to the shrimp and spinach pesto pasta. I'm just going to replace the shrimp with some chicken that I'll probably just uh, pan, uh, like saute in a pan to cook. And then we'll have it with uh, the pesto and the spinach. And then the pasta with meat sauce. This is a really simple meal that I made that my son, for some reason, can't stop talking about. Um, all I did was I took some of the, I think it's bonza chickpea pasta. Um, and then I paired it with some, uh, with the Rao's meats, uh, not meat sauce, with the Rao's um, tomato basil sauce. And then I just heated up a pound of lean meat and threw that all together. And he thinks it's the best thing ever. So. And that fits with uh, I've got protocol too, so that works. And then Wednesday, um, tilapia piccata. I'm just trying to go for some some fish here. Um, the orzo doesn't really fit with four week gut protocol unless I can find some gluten free, but we still have some left in the pantry and I need to use it up. And I'll do that with some green beans. And then on Thursday nights, we usually have leftovers. This week, actually, since I took carpool. Because my Monday carpool night got moved to Wednesday. I didn't get to make dinner last night. We had leftovers last night, so tonight I'm making dinner. So you sometimes just have to shuffle things around and make it work. But the reason I like to plan out my meals is so that I know that I have enough food in the house to feed us <laughs> for all the meals. When each thing gets made, you know, gets made and eaten, it doesn't really matter. And then Friday nights we usually eat out. We do have a soccer tournament this weekend. Um, and I do, um, well, I'll usually make the shakes in the morning before we leave. I'll cook the um, sausage and oatmeal, put it in to-go containers, and we'll have that with us. I have been um, making, um, like, our lunches to go, um, especially when I was really sticking to the plan. Sometimes we'll eat out as a team, and if we eat out as a team, that's fine. I'll just save my, my food in the cooler for later. And then I do pack snacks as well to have um, for us um, while we're out. And then Saturday nights we usually eat out, so we'll probably do that as well. But that is how I have planned my meals this week, and I'm excited to be bumping up a plan because I kind of gone through like a, I'm going to go back to my regular portion fix, but still kind of gut protocol. So this time I'm like, let's just go ahead and move it to gut protocol, plan B as a starting point, and then um, tweak things from there. But if you have any questions about meal planning, about gut protocol, portion fix, let me know and I'm happy to help.